Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. I have a 2002 Chevy Trailblazer. I'm going to check it with a reader because I'm getting a miss on the engine. So hopefully the uh, reader that I use will tell me what the problem is or what I need to look at. Turn the key on. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do a check engine. It's going to give me the VIN, the year, and then I got one problem there, and I'm going to hit enter. Reading code, and I got a PO304. And it's saying cylinder four misfire detected. So right now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take this clamp loose. It's going to take a 5 16th socket. Just back it out. I'm going to just pull it off. You can remove this wire if you want to, but I don't see no sense in removing that wire. It's not in my way. Now if you go in here to the back, you'll see another one right there. I'm going to go ahead and take that loose as well because when I take this intake box off, it's going to break loose from there and come off with it. Also, I'm going to unplug this. And this hose right here will need to come off. It'll either come off of here or off of the box itself, but I'll probably try and take it off here. What I got to do next. Is I got to come in here and I got to take that bolt out and if you go on back behind this you'll see another bolt that's right here I got to take those two out and they are 10 millimeter bolts now I should be able to just lift this off see there's the hose I was talking about now I have access to my coils and my spark plugs. Well, I've cleaned all my spark plugs and it's still giving me that code for misfiring on number four. So if I go back, it's one, two, three, four. This one right here is the one I got to take out. So what I've done is to went out and purchased a brand new coil. So I'm gonna throw this coil on there and see if I still get that misfire. See if it's still throwing that code take this out it's going to take a 10 millimeter socket I gotta reach in here and pull this little tab up like so now I gotta push this in and pull this out now I can go ahead and lift this out of there and that's the coil before I take this new one and bolt it up and see how it works I'm gonna take it in there and do an ohms reading on it and give you a comparison of this one and the one I pulled out First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it up in there. That's the ground. Now I'm going to take and touch each one of these wires right here and see what kind of reading we get. I'm going to do the top one first. And I'm getting nothing with that top one. Now I'll do the middle one. I'm getting a 17.52. The third one the 557. Five, now if I pull it out and I put this ground right here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to touch the top one first. I'm actually getting nothing. No reading. I'm going to do the second one. I'm getting 1196. Third one is zero. Now let's do the new one. Same way. I'm going to take this and I'm going to shove it up in there. So it connects. It's got a spring up in there as well. I'm going to do the top one. Top one's getting a reading of 1620. The middle is 1875. The third one, 1881. Pull it out. Ground it right here. We'll do the same thing. I'm 
I'll do the top one first and it gives me a reading of 739 the second one or the middle one is 995 the third one is zero so apparently that old one must be bad because it's got different numbers than the brand new one has Just drop it down in there it should drop right on top of the spark plug Feels like it's on it. Now go ahead and run this down. Put the harness on it. Push the safety latch in so that it doesn't come off. Well, I got to put everything back together and then I'll start it. It's really easy to put back together. All you got to do is make sure you put this on first on the other side. Like so. Come over to this side. Move this back out of the way. And you got this hose right here. I don't know if you can see it. But it's there and you just push it back on there. As you push this down. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to push this over and make sure it's in that over there because there's a hose over there that's got to plug up just like this one here does. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my bolts in. I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to drop another one in back here. I'm going to go ahead and run those down, get them nice and snug. Now remember, these are 10 millimeter. Now at this point, you can go ahead and hook this up right here. Tighten down your clamps, and then we'll go ahead and go in there. Almost forgot, don't forget to put this air fitting on there. You'll need that on there. Cleared the codes, I ran it for a while. Now I'm gonna do another check on it. Seems like it's running pretty good. And now there's no codes found. I hope this helps. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.